Now, here's some shocking trivia for you. It takes 450 years for one of these, a plastic bottle, to decay naturally. And thousands of them are dumped in rivers and canals. In fact, the Canal and River Trust says 66% of people who took part in the survey admitted to dropping litter. And it spends a million pounds each year cleaning rubbish from Britain's canals and waterways. Well, today it's found an unusual way of appealing to people to clean up their act. And as Mark Ansell reports from Sheffield and Tinsley Canal. What lies beneath? You'll be shocked to see what people dump in our canals. 80% of marine debris is found here in our inland waterways. Lizzie Carr is on a mission to rid them of rubbish. She's an environmentalist and a world record breaking paddleboarder. I sort of spend a lot of time here cleaning up rubbish that I find, just partly because obviously as a paddleboarder I don't want to be in amongst that, but also to sort of protect marine species and the environments that can't protect themselves. Lizzie combines her interests. She gives free classes on how to paddleboard in exchange for volunteers collecting litter. It's great, isn't it? It's like get outside, get active, get out in nature and do something good, give something back. And I've not fallen in yet. Yet. Yet, yet. <laughs> Bottles, cans, takeaway wrappers, this is the first time you've been paddleboarding? First time I've been on a paddleboard. I've watched other people doing it and thought, yeah, that would be good. An opportunity to do it and help the canal and the environment. And I can see why Lizzie reckons this is the best place to collect rubbish from, because it's a lot easier to collect it than from the towpath. And it's good fun. Whoop. <laughs> The Canal and River Trust also organises the more conventional towpath litter pick. They're determined to clean up our waterways in whatever way. It brings a whole new audience of people to come and enjoy our waterways. And um, we want people to enjoy volunteering in a massive range of ways. And paddleboarding is one way for people to do that and to help us with the ongoing maintenance of litter, which costs us around a million a year, um, to get to some of the stuff that we can't reach otherwise. Either we need a boat or we need special access from other places. So paddleboards are helping us to be able to look after that ongoing maintenance. And we want more people to come and join us and help us volunteer in this way. So if you're bored this summer, come down and have a paddle with your litter picker, of course. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield. It's a good idea, isn't it's it? It's a great idea, and that little piece to camera where Mark was talking to the camera on that paddleboard looked like a good idea as well, didn't it? Yeah, Until... although it did look like it was about to fall in. You know, I've got a paddleboard. You've got one? Yeah, I don't look as good as Lizzie, but I do probably look better than Mark did. Where do you use that? I've only used it once. <laughs> it's fun, though. It's all the rage. You should try it. Right, OK, thank Let's you. Let's get down to that canal.